This is code.org, computer science discoveries, lesson eight, which is uh, coding and debugging. Uh, it's part of unit two. It's unit two, lesson eight. Uh, we're on level three of this, debugging. Debugging, more debugging practice. Ooh, their explanation point, enthusiastic about this. This page is a little more challenging to debug than the last one. Oh no. Do this, discuss with your partner what you think the bugs are in this page. And again, I guess we're partners. Find and fix all the bugs so that your page matches the one on the right. Okay, yeah, I can tell there's some differences down here. So let's take a look. I'm gonna first look for pink. Is there any pink code? Because that means we have a problem. Huh, it doesn't look like there is actually. So that means that the HTML is actually written correctly. We're just missing some stuff. So, well, if they want cat toys separated out, hmm, what will separate something out? So we need a space here and here. Well, will a heading tag? Let's try H3. And then I need to close it, of course, H3. Well, it does separate it, but it increased the font size. Hmm, that's a little bit too big. This must be a subheading. Maybe H4, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that looks good to me. All right, now keep your cat entertained. Hmm, is this part of the list? It's not. Notice though, that it is not a heading either. Look at the size of the font. So if it's not a heading, and it's kind of off on its own, right? As a line separating here and here, and it's not a heading, it's not part of a list, all that we have left, our handy dandy paragraph tags. So let's go ahead and put that here. All right, now we have a paragraph tag. Let's take a look at our list. Our list has bullet points here, interesting. It also doesn't have enough. All right, let me go ahead and format this some. So they want lasers on a line. Hmm. I'm gonna go back and hit enter here because that looks like it should be separate. Oh, this is a mess. All right, so. If you do not have a label for this list, right? So we don't have an overall tag, an OL or a UL tag. If I were to add a bunch of stuff down here, the website's gonna get very jumbled because it doesn't know where our list starts and where our list ends. So first off, if I wanted bullet points, which is what they have, you would use UL for unordered list, but I don't. I want numbers, so like they have up at the top. So I'm gonna use <laughs> OL for ordered list, and again, slash ol, because it wraps all the way around. All right, well now we have numbers, but it still isn't correct. Oh, I see, because I need, after each list item and before, I have li, whoops. So look, oh my goodness, so many mistakes now. This ol says start an ordered list. This ol says end an ordered list. And this says, hey, this is a separate thing on the list, we need another one here, I think. This is a separate thing on the list. This is a separate thing on the list. So it's kind of highlighting that. Now to format this, I'm actually gonna just backspace and notice now it will auto format it, which makes it easier to read. It's indented because all the items are the list on the list are actually part of the list. So it's showing you that these tags belong inside of this, it just makes it easier to read for us. And that, well, that looks good to me. So I guess we are marching onward.